What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you like classic cars, please hit the subscribe button. You can see all of our new inventory as we get in every week, and you can watch me and Chris go out and chase classic cars. Please subscribe today. We'll see you then. Let's go. What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. Got this nice 1967 Chevy Camaro up for sale today. We're going to do a full walkthrough of the vehicle so you know exactly what you get before you buy it. We're going to go over the good, the bad, and if there's any ugly. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you want to see all of our classic cars as we get them in. As you can see in the background, we have classics we get in, plus you can watch us chasing classic cars. So this is a 1967. 350 four speed manual bought this off a guy he had about six cars we did a deal on it if you saw our previous video he had this one over 30 years this is his favorite car he had in the collection it's from down south alabama so there's no rust on this car a little bit of surface but nothing major I don't believe it's a true SS, but it definitely has a nice look. I'll show you the buck tag on it and all you guys can do the VIN decoding and decode it on the cow and let me know what you guys think. We'll go ahead and we'll start on this side. Passenger fender. As you can see, you can see my reflection pretty good in it. I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see my reflection. I would probably say the paint is probably like a six and a half, seven out of 10. It's not perfect. It's got a little bit of waves in it, but I'm about three, four feet away and you can see it looks really good. Zoom in a little bit there. It does have a little haze over it. It was sitting under a cover. Again, like I say on a lot of these videos, I think with a nice Full wet sand and buff and polish this car would look great because it already does look good. It's already a solid driver quality paint job, but once it's done, it would look even better. So paint six and a half, seven out of 10. If you put a little TLC into it, you could probably make this car a solid eight and a half. You got a little ding here. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's about right here. Looks like a paintless dent removal guy would be able to pop that out. Small little right there. Got a little flaw right there in the paint. Little flaw right there. Looks like something rubbed up against it. This looks like this will come right out with some polish. Looks like a little chip there. And the bottom's good. Now this video I'm doing a little differently. As you can see, I'm shooting this on my phone. I normally use a GoPro. We're trying a little bit different here. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the way this one is shot compared to our normal videos. Now as far as the gap on the door, the gap is nice and straight. It's pretty even throughout. It's a, a tad thicker on this side, this way, but not much. You can see it slows up there a little bit. What I like about this camera, it really shows everything. You can really see the flaws. Like this in person is not as bad as it looks in camera. You can barely see it in person. Let's look at the body line. Body line looks pretty straight. I don't see any bond or anything that looks like it's on the body line. Underneath looks good as well. Up here looks good. I don't see any visible flaws on the door. Moving on to this door gap. This gap looks nice and straight. It gets a little down here. As you can see, it tightens up a little bit. Now, one of the problems with these doors, that's a common Chevy problem. They like to sag. The driver's side's worse. I'll show you the door opening test. When I just pulled it there, you can see it popped down a little bit. But if I lightly close it, it does not close well. If I give it a firm push, it shuts good. So you do have a little wear inside. The hinges that probably going to need that pin need to be replaced to get these doors to close a lot better this one's not as bad you can push it hard and it will close driver side needs a little love and i'll show you when we get over there a 
This quarter's nice. I don't see any Bondo or anything here. You can see the reflection pretty good in it. Nothing visible. Going back here, looks good. I don't see anything here. This is nice and clean, no rust or anything. Uh, tire, I would say, probably the rear tires you're gonna eventually have to replace. They're about 25%. This front tire is 90%, 95%. So, rear wheel drive car. The inside of the tire is better than the outside, but the outside is definitely showing somewhere. So probably in the next few months, you're gonna be replacing at least one tire so far. Chrome looks good. I don't see any issues with the chrome. A couple little scratch there. Move it on to the trunk. Gap uh, tightens up here and it opens up here. So it's off a little bit there. This side seems to be fine. The stripe, it looks like somebody made a flaw here. They painted it on this little portion. But the car shows really well. I mean, it's got little flaws. Like I said, it's driver quality. But just from a normal stance, look at how good this car looks. I'm about four feet away from it, and it just looks gorgeous. We get up close to it. You can see some of the flaws, like I pointed out over here. And you can kind of see some of the scratches. One of the issues I do see, I don't know if water got in here. It's just a little separate here. Maybe it needs a gasket. Or this needs to come out this windshield. I'm not really sure. But you can see a little gap there. A couple little surface scratches here. Those will be polished out. Small little bubble there. And a little, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a little bubble in the paint there. Top of the roof. I see a little scratch up here. Again, that may be in the clear. It could be buffed out. Not sure. Moving on to this rear. Quarter looks good. I don't see any damage. Try to show you the body line this way. Looks good. A couple imperfections above the wheel well. No rust or anything. I just see a little imperfection in the paint right here. Wheel looks good. And this tire again, yeah, inside is about 50%. Outside is about 15%. 10%. So that's going to need to be replaced. Also, probably the seals. This door looks fairly straight. I don't see the gaps off too much at all. Now, you do have some, looks like wax here or adhesive when they put this chrome on that needs to be taken off. You can see a little bit at the bottom. If you get real, real, real close to it. I'll show you how this door closes. This door does not close the best. If we close it hard, it, it does good, but you gotta close it really hard. You ain't gotta slam it, but you gotta push on it hard. That's your VIN number right there. Tag is still there. Flaw right there in the paint. Now this gap looks pretty decent for sure. That looks good. I do see like, and you can feel it in the paint. I feel like there's dirt in the paint up on this fender. And uh, like I said before, I'm sure a wet sand would make this car real nice. It already is a pretty nice car. A couple little chips there and there this tire is good i would move these back tires uh, the front tires to the back if you just want to go get away with that not saying it's the best thing to do 
Same thing with the hood here. Somebody did a job up there with that little line. Don't know why. This chrome looks to be in good shape in the front. Lights seem to be in good shape. You do have a chip here. This is probably the worst part. You need to be filled in. This light ugh, looks like it's got a little crack. It's not sitting real good. Same thing with this. I don't even know if they're hooked up. Well, there we go, guys. That's the overall condition of the exterior. Let's go ahead and climb underneath the car, look under the hood and in the trunk, and then we'll head in the interior. All right, guys, so we're underneath the car right now. As you can see, this is pretty much a raw undercarriage. Got a little spot right here. But I don't see any spray, nothing was sprayed on this car. This looks like an all original floor. So wire brush and under spray, undercoating would do good for this car and preserve it. It's not bad at all. You got that little spot there. It's pretty much the worst part and it's tiny. I don't see any rot or anything here. This is all solid. There's your rear end. And now driver's side. Driver's side looks clean. Got this little here. I think this is under the carpet. I'm pushing hard on it. It's moving a little bit, but it's not terrible. All original. I want you guys to, I like buying cars when they're not under sprayed. I want you guys to see exactly what you're getting. This car, nice wire brush. You can make this car nice underneath. I see a little oil on the bottom of the pan up front. Well, it's got, looks like some kind of small oil leak. Ugh. Let's grab the keys. Uh, the keys are not in it. Oh, let's see where they are. Oh, are we looking for the keys? Let's look under the hood. So I got a 350 under here. Yeah, looks like manual brakes. But you do have power steering. Does not look bad under here. Here's your VIN tag. Let me get closer. Buck tag. See if we can get the keys for it. Look under the trunk. All right, guys, go in the trunk. Now the trunk is just raw, guys. Again, same thing. All solid. Nice wire brush. That's the rhythm of this car.
But little things like that will make this car a real nice car, better than what it is. Right now, I would say it's definitely a, a solid driver car, but with a can of paint undercoating, a couple things to it, you could pretty, you know, uh, sandpaper, you could make this car a pretty nice car. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'll stand up on its own if you try to take this to a show. It's a beautiful black Camaro, 67 four-speed. So, we'll head on the inside. So, interior, this door panel looks to be in good shape. Little flaw right there. But it's not, no cuts, no tears or anything like that. Again, you got your VIN plate there. That's intact. This is good. This is all clean. I don't know what this is. Just a door panel. It's a little damage there. Inside's good. Seat's in good shape. No cuts, no tears. Same thing with that seat. In the rear, you got one little rip there. Small one. Got that coming down a little bit. And over there coming down the rest of the headliners in good shape you got this aftermarket steering wheel i would change that it's another thing i would do to it and make it really nice the dash seems to be in good shape the dash pad then you got a little wear here this is loose then you got some aftermarket gauges there and an old-fashioned radio Let's go ahead and give it the window test. See how this window goes down. The oh, window goes down pretty good. One hand. Try the other one. Just needs to be lubed up probably. Looks like an original AC car. Does not have AC. Showing 70,519 miles. We put gas in it so the gas gauge does work. And we will see if anything else works in it. Oh, key. Can't start a car without a key. Let's grab the key real quick. And I don't know what to do with the key. In my back pocket. Here we go. This is an ice cold start too, by the way. Which I'll show you guys. This car's been sitting probably 48 hours. Just make sure no one started it. But yeah, we're good. It's ice cold. Nothing. Okay. So we're getting a real, real cold start. So this came off to put that on. Give it three, clutch in. It's got a cam to it. Let's see if we got any smoke in or anything. No, not bad at all. Ice cold start. Motor's cammed up. Good guys, got a nice sound to it. Another thing I noticed that this would need to be fixed. This is 
needs to be tightened up. You got a generator light on, but the battery's holding charge. No horn. Check the lights. We got no lights, let's see. No, no lights. No windshield wipers either. Those gauges are working. So. The lights on the inside was just showing that it was on. Hold on. Let's see. It's showing the lights are on. No. Let's try signals, but that's probably not working. It's probably all one switch, is what I'm guessing. Signal's working. Other signal's working. Not a perfect car. I will try to look at the, oh wait. No, I thought the lights were on. I'll try to look at the lights, see what I can do. It could be a bulb, I don't know. I can't guarantee it, but I will do my best to try to look at it and get it resolved for you. Again, I can't guarantee I'll be able to get to it. I will try my best. You guys, up for sale now, BobEvansClassics.com. We ship to your doorstep all over the U.S. And we can ship it worldwide if you're interested. Hope you like our page. If you do, please subscribe. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Give us a call today. God bless the USA. Appreciate you guys.